In a previous episode, we talked about the most common different types of batteries, so lithium-ion, uh, nickel-metal hydride, nickel-cadmium, etc. Today, however, we're not going to be talking about the types of batteries that are out there. We're going to be talking about the most common specs that you'll find on these batteries and what these specs actually mean. So let's just get right into it. The first spec that you'll often find on a battery is its nominal voltage, which is basically the electrical voltage between the terminals of the battery. So I always like to uh, explain voltage using the real world analogy of a dam with lots of water on one side and no water on the other side. Now, of course, due to gravity, the water on one side really wants to go to that other side. Uh, and therefore there is a lot of pressure on that dam and this pressure is basically what the voltage is in electricity so in electricity the voltage is essentially the electrical pressure difference between two points the difference in charge between two points and it's what eventually drives the electricity it's the force that eventually will drive electrons through something. The next specification that you'll find on a battery sometimes, but not very often, is a maximum current specification. So current, again, can be explained using that dam as well. So if we were to cut a hole in our dam, the water would start rushing through that hole to the other side at a very high rate. And that's a current. Okay, so we've got water flowing from one side to the other side. So current is basically flow rate. In the case of our dam, it's how much water goes from one side to the other per second. In case of electricity, it's how much charge moves through a wire per second. So that is, that is what current means. And current is therefore caused by voltage. So the voltage is the pressure difference we have, and the current is the flow of charge that it causes. And maximum current on the battery is the maximum amount of charge that can be pulled from that battery per second without the battery blowing up. So um, so we have our dam example again. <clears throat> there comes a point where we make the hole in the dam so big that the flow rate will become so big, so much water will go through the hole per second, that the forces on the dam will be too great and it will simply collapse. And that's similar to what happens in a battery. Okay, If you pull too much electric current from a battery, then the battery can damage. It depends on the type of battery how spectacular this failure will be, but it will be dead, most, most likely. So you need to watch out for this. Now most batteries don't actually provide a maximum current rating, and we'll get to that later on. The next type of specification that you'll see a lot on batteries is a listing of the capacity, which is measured in amp hours, or milliamp hours, or kiloamp hours, whatever amp hours. So what does this mean? Okay, well an amp hour means that the battery can supply one amp of current for one hour. So if it says one amp hour on a battery, that means this battery can supply one amp of electric current for an hour of time. If it says three amp hours, then this battery can supply three amps of current for an hour of time. Now that doesn't mean that this is the only current we can pull from the battery. So if we have a battery that says, say, 5 amp hours, okay, then we can pull 5 amps from it for an hour. But we could also pull only 2.5 amp, and then it would last 2 hours. And maybe we have a more powerful machine that we want to drive. We pull 10 amps from this battery. In that case, it would only last for half an hour. So see how this rating works? We, we can pull more or less current than this, but then the amount of time it lasts changes. So this specification is very useful if you want to calculate how long a machine will run on a given pack of batteries. However, it's not very useful if you want to know something about the actual energy that is contained in that battery. In that case, the watt-hour rating is much more useful. So watt is, of course, a unit for power, okay? And this specifies how much power a battery can supply for a given amount of time. So not how much current it can supply, how much power the battery can actually supply. Now this is fairly easy to calculate since power is equal to current times voltage. So if we have a 10 volt battery, 
that has a 5 amp hour capacity, we know that it can supply 5 amps at 10 volts for an hour of time. And 5 times 10 is 50. So this battery can do 50 watts for an hour of time. So its capacity in watt hours would be 50 watt hours. Right? That's how this works. And this is useful for if you have a power rating of a device in watts. If you also know the capacity of your battery in watts, it's very easy to calculate how long that thing can run on your battery. So now we need to talk about C rates. Okay, C rates are rates for how quickly you can charge or discharge a battery. And they're also the reason why the max current specification that we talked about earlier on is rarely used. So on a battery, you will often find a number that says uh, something like 5C, for example. So we, let's say we have a, a 10 volt battery, okay, 10 volt, its capacity is uh, 5 amp hours, let's just keep using that example, and it says 5C for the maximum discharge rate on it. The C stands for capacity in amp hours, right? Now the capacity in amp hours is 5 amp hours, okay? Now, what this means is that the maximum discharge rate is 5 times 5, which is 25. So the maximum discharge rate of this battery is 25 amps. That's how you calculate the max current. The max current is often not on the battery spec sheet. On the spec sheet, you'll find a C rating, a max discharge rate, which says 3C, 5C, 10C, whatever. And then you have to multiply that number with C. And C is the capacity of the battery in amp hours. That's how this works. And the same thing goes for charging. If you want to know how fast you can charge a battery, how much current you can use to charge a battery, there is also often a maximum charge rate, which is also given in an amount of C. So if a battery is uh, 10 amp hours and you see maximum charge rate 0.5 C or maybe um, C divided by 2, it's also possible, then you know you can charge this battery at a charging current of 5 amps. Right, that's how this works. So these were the most common and the most important specifications that you'll find on batteries or the spec sheet that comes with batteries, of course. Um, and of course, there are more, more things to talk about. There are other specifications. There is always more. But these are the most fundamental things that you have to understand if you're working with batteries. Anyway, that brings us to the end. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And of course, thank you for watching.